I am here at Quarry Hill Nature Center on an unseasonably warm October day. We've got the fifth grade from Falwell Elementary, Mr. Olson's class. They're going to be learning about pond ecology, but I bet they're also going to be learning something about life and themselves. And I'm excited to experience it with some of our students. We have staff out here at Quarry Hill Nature Center and literally thousands of RPS kids spend time here every year in this amazing facility that is really, really close to town, but a world away. Getting off the bus. Are you excited? Yeah. Awesome. What are you looking forward to today? Um, looking at the stuff. Awesome. Stuff is good. Yeah, what do you like to do here at Quarry Hill Nature Center? I like to look at the leaves and sometimes find berries that are edible. Wow. Don't eat any berries today, okay? There's We're responsible for you, though. So I'm here with Mr. Olson, fifth grade teacher. Why do you bring your students out here to Quarry Hill? Uh, well, we bring them here because we are afforded the opportunity, right? We get to come out here twice a year, and uh, it is when the, the science teaching we're doing, the, doing in the classroom where it finally hits home and feels like real science, because it is, right? So there's a lot of build-up. It's not just a field trip. You're building it up, and then they're out here, and it's like, whoa, it's real. Exactly. Yeah, everything we do at Cory Hill on the field trips ties to the curriculum and the standards. Um, and like I said, it, it's the kids are scientists when they're out here, and they, they really know that and buy into that. So. It's, that's awesome. Have you, ever, have you ever lost a kid? Like temporarily? Temporarily. Sure. Okay. Uh, a few years ago, I, I came out and turned around and, why am I telling you this? I don't know. Some of my favorite things to do in our elementary schools are to notice the students sitting in positions that there's no possible way I could get into anymore. And this is like an eight out of 10. I've seen uh, m more pretzel-like legs, but this is very strong performance. It needs two more. You think? Two? Oh, that was not enough. Don't overdo it. Okay, I know my measurements. My ancestors are telling me. Okay, you could blow up the whole world if you get it wrong. Oh. I'm no pressure. Um, me and Heidi got like a way different dancer than everyone else. They got like 45 and 30 and we got five. You know, that's really interesting. So you got a very different answer than other people. What do you think might be the explanation for that? Um, maybe we like counted faster than we were supposed to or something. Maybe you did something a bit differently. Maybe it could be not the right way, but maybe you discovered a totally new way that's going to change the world. Oh. You never know. That's science. So this is a big moment. They are getting ready to go out into the pond and search for life. Um, the kids are psyched. They have been uh, very clear about not falling in. We'll see how that goes. You got anything? We found anything uh, yet? Nothing. That's a lot of shells. We found some shells. Shells? We found some shells, but nothing inside of them. We heard a report that someone got a fish, so we're going to investigate this. Where's that? Who has the fish? Who got the we fish? Do, we do, we have, have two fish. fish. Okay, here we go. This is this is. Let's get this here. So, we do have a confirmed capture of a fish. And we got another fish. We, 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 got, we got to get this in here, the visual. How did you manage, so far, the, you, we can see you're the only ones to get a fish. No, we just found that spot. Over there. It just was a spot and yeah. you just got lucky. Neil found yeah, it. Yeah, we just dug in here. We got another one just in there. Um, wow. All right. No fish, though, for you. No fish. I don't think we, we shouldn't overstate fish. Like the snails are going to have hurt feelings if, if the only thing anybody cares about is fish, right? Well, yeah. well, I think that snails or whatever are very um, unique. And, Absolutely. In their own way, in their own way. Yeah, don't be down on the snails, kids. Some snails. Uh, no fish, but we did catch a weird bug. We released it though. Cause and, and, and nothing is even electronic in there and you no. still are interested in it. Yeah. Shocking. So there's a little bit of envy going on here that Neil caught a fish, but I've been trying to sort of, you know, talk up the snails because not everybody can be like Neil who gets the fish. You know, we all remember who Neil was when we were little, like everything works out for Neil, but you know, the kids that got snails need to feel good too. They came, they saw, they researched, they conquered, no, I can't they're heading back. No. Smarter about life systems, fish, and maybe each other. Okay. Hey, you guys, thanks for letting me come, okay? okay. All right. All right, thank you. You guys listen to Mr. Olson, okay? And the bus driver. All right. Take care.